Hey honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. So if you wanted to preheat the oven starting in about 30 minutes, that would work and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day? Like when kids are done with their treatments? I, I guess maybe you don't cause you're not in the clinic as much as I am, but on someone's last day, they always bring them a cake and they sing happy off therapy day to you. Anyway, that happened today. I mean, it happens a lot, but today I cried. I just wanted that day so bad, you know? I just like, we're not ever gonna get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better. We don't get a day. Anyway, okay, call me if you can. Like, there's probably traffic, so I could talk on my way home. All right, bye. Because the on-call doctor is just a resident. Is there a way we could talk to our doctor? It just seemed like yesterday in the clinic they were going to let us go. I just want to know what the plan is. Who canceled the treatment? I mean, isn't it dangerous for him not to get it? I thought he needed that. I, I know you're just doing the you're sick, but can I, can I just talk to the doctor that ordered it? Some things you don't want to say as a human. And when we don't give information, we actually make things worse. But it's hard. It's really hard. Phoenix. Beginning of the end. Oh. To Linda, who made the largest impression. Hmm. Yeah, some people are really, really awesome. Hmm. 
The sad thing is that they usually don't know. So we have been all around now, right? So do I move front of the counter here? and then so can't look in the fridge no coffee to be had let's look at the phone I guess we should have seen this earlier before the treatment tried cleaning up eggs again. A dozen eggs on the kitchen floor again. So we have to get a new lock for the fridge. Do you, oh, it's so, so hard to clean up eggs from the floor. Like they just spread around and they don't come clean no matter what you do. So I was just so frustrated, but you should have seen them together. They were so proud of themselves. Joel and Elijah just sitting there with their eggs. Isaac said he thinks they want to be cookers. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Well, eggs are really hard to wash off, even if you have them outside. I actually had a neighbor, uh, an old lady, uh, elderly lady, which was so, so forgiving and, and so kind that when when the local kids came and said. Uh, do you want a prank or do you have any candy? And she didn't have any candy to give them and they actually egged her house. And she stood there for a day cleaning it off. And her, the only thing she said was, well, kids got to be kids and they probably had a lot of fun. So I enjoy that. So now I guess we, we can move past this. Can we get down here? What's the... What do I do here? Or do I go back again? Well, it seems like we have to go back. Back over here? Again. I think we've seen all, all the pictures. Oh. What's that? That's an elevator. Okay, so this is how we we move on to the next segment. Hmm.
It's you again. I love you, my friend. This is my favorite game. Do you want to see? Watch out, start it. <laughs> you touch it right here, then the big lion comes. You know that scary lion? It's so loud. I can roar just like him. Yeah, you hear me roar? Roar! Don't be afraid. You might want to cover your ears. Here comes the animals. Tearsaws is my favorite. This terrible routine, watching you, waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall, and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind.
flashbacks, memory back memories. I was actually at a ceremony for uh, a kid when uh, they. Uh, I don't know the name in English, but when you bring some somebody into God's family, when you put some water on their head and so christen them, perhaps. And we actually were at the hospital helping or at least giving our, our thoughts to the parents of a, a very sick child of our friends. And that christening ceremony and also the, the party afterwards when you sat down and they actually went table around and thanked everybody for they brought the people that had made their journey possible to that table just to thank them so this journey and this this game is very touching for me I still love you, girl from Mars. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. I guess you didn't want to see that. Uh, take my tears, love. They will carry you home. I miss you, Rachel. Love you, Papa. Even now, you still make me laugh. Mm. Oh, same one. Let's look at the next one. In loving memory of Maria and Emil. Hoswang. Love. Sorry, I butchered that name. Uh, if every hour uh, wounds, let us sit a minute. Yeah, things hurt. Why do it if it's not fun in the memory of Rick Miller? You should enjoy life. Have faith like children and love like Christ. Yes. You're stronger than you know. Love will keep you strong. So many letters. Jason Javier Sanchez. Forever in our hearts. at these everyone who ever died of cancer especially uh, my father and grandmother rest in peace Hank Marisha and all the rest of you beautiful beautiful people I hope that whatever's become of you you are presently better off than you were at the end of your life we miss you Bradley, see what? Miss you always. So these are actually cards of 
to my hero, Henry M. Obituaries, or like that. Hugs to you all, my UAHC kids and families, Greg Rice. I'm not even going to try that, sorry. Uh, not that good at pronouncing names. Oh my, there's so many notes. To say we miss you is an understatement. Love you, Mom. I shall cover you with my hand until I have passed. Nada en el mundo me importa mis que ni hayo Juan. Sorry, don't speak Spanish. In memory of Ivan and Jason. Oh, same one. Next one. Our hero, Orion, strong. Not even cancer could hold you back. Good on you. Monica F. Winters, forever touched all of those who knew her. I miss you, Mom. Jerick Goring, your family misses you so much. Antonio Mattarelli, your grandson is terribly sorry and misses you so much. in your sleep after months of pain, miss you grandma. Dolly Reddin, a name that means a lot to me. A loving wife, a mother, a, my grandmother, and a cancer survivor. Hardly a woman of grace, but a person of great strength. I'm glad you can continue your fight should it ever arise again. I love you, Grandma. In loving memory, John and Don Huberts. Joshua, stay strong, little man. Mommy and Daddy loves you. So many notes. Oh, even more in here. John, miss you every day. Love, Lee. Nancy, you will eternally embody compassion to me. I think I will actually move along now and not read all these notes. They are wonderful piece of art, every single one of them. And I really think that if you miss someone, if you like someone, if you are in need of comfort, if you are in need of just expressing that feeling, write it down. Even if you're not showing ever anybody, just write it down, put it aside, and remember that there where is where you have put that feeling. It's very important. The written word is very, very powerful. So, I really wish that I 
could take time to read everything, but I actually work <laughs> with uh, producing uh, newspapers and sometimes we have to fix things that is in the obituaries and reading and fact-checking obituaries is very hard because they are heart-wrenching and so very personal that yeah you you really it really gets you sometimes so let's move along mm -hmm. 